right, let me show you one of the most important keys to drop shot. It's right here, your electronics. I'm gonna tell you, this isn't your ordinary technique. A lot of people will go out there and they'll try drop shot and then they just do the same type of fishing that they do when they're fishing a spinnerbait or a crankbait or something like that. You're not gonna cover a ton of water really quickly with a drop shot. That's not the type of technique it is. It's totally different. It's a slow down, get on top of those fish, find them and catch them. And that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna run around with my hummingbird here, find those humps, find those piles of fish, and then just pick them apart like a surgeon. And uh, you know, if I was out here fishing a DT20 or something like that, I could cover a ton of water. Finding those areas, finding those fish, and it will definitely catch you fish. If you try to fish it like you do a spinnerbait, you can't do it. It just doesn't cover water effectively enough or quick enough. So you definitely want to find those fish and get on top of them. I'll let you in on another little trick. Say you have a spot, you catch a bunch of fish on an x wrap or you know a DT20 or that new thug or something like that. Always, always, always throw the drop shot before you leave. So many anglers, it drives me crazy. I hear them out there, they say, I went up to a spot, boom, 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 caught three or four, then I moved along because I'd caught all the fish. None of us are that good. I mean, maybe Al Linder or a KVD or something like that, but I bet you they all always throw a different thing before they leave that area. You always, always, always want to give them a different offer. Don't just think you caught them all, because chances are there's a few more down there, and if you lower the drop shot on them, you're going to catch them. And another little secret, usually it's the biggest one.